Hi and welcome back to the channel and today I want to talk to you about how the hips work. It's about changing the task or how you think about it and what I'm going to show you how I was showing it through Mike Malaska uh, and I want you to try and change that task to help your own game. So come on, let's go do it. Okay, so understanding the task of how the hips move or how they work is really important. I think for years the, the terminology was wrong or the, the, the task process that you're being set is totally wrong as well and you're doing things that you think are correct but they're actually being detrimental to your golf game. So I'm going to show you what I was showing and how I was showing it because when I, when I saw it this way it helped me immensely to make me understand how it should actually work. So it's really important you watch this and, and you get a clear understanding of what it is you're trying to achieve. So I do get asked a lot then how do the hips work and I've, I've done a really crude description here of how, what my hips look like, um, flat and crusty. Anyway. What I've done here is I've done a little example, and this is how the hips should work. And if you have an understanding of this or a, a, t a clear task of what your hips should be doing, then it's actually a lot easier to re-perform or do again in the golf swing. So what I've got here is I've got, this is my hips, okay, and obviously I've got the golf ball here. And the whole aim of this is to make sure that the hips never move up into the ball, okay? We always want them to keep the center of your pelvis, which is here, the furthest point away from the ball and you want to keep it away from the ball if not actually if anything move it away from the ball so I've got my right hip here and my left hip here and one of the things that the biggest turn that we often hear in the golf swing is turn okay and that can actually be detrimental to a lot of golfers I'm not saying everybody you know you can use that term but a lot of golfers misinterpret that and one of the things that they tend to do when they talk about turn is they have a tendency to pivot around a point so they might stall the right hip so we were told for many years you know keep the right hip still keep the right leg still brace that right knee and turn around your right leg well the old problem with that was when I did that if I pivot around that that point here my left hip is going to turn this way okay to make a turn 45 degrees roughly but this point here or this this center point here has moved closer to the ball so it starts here and as I turn I might have a little bit of depth here it's actually moved up closer to the ball then golfers would shift their weight to the left-hand side and they'd pivot around that left hip and then they would go this way. And then they're always moving, they're always moving up into the ball and they're never moving away. So we're trying to use momentum here in order to, to create speed and power. And your pelvis, if you watch the top players, the pelvises are actually moving away from the ball and getting further away from it uh, through impact because this accelerates the club head out. If I, if I push my hips away, this forces the momentum to swing away from me and, and creates that centrifugal forces and so on, makes the club swing through me faster. If I start moving up in there, it's like stopping it. It almost pulls everything in and, and, and stops it from flowing. So we, are, we like to use the terms, the straight line forces. So my hips work straight lines. Now if I can actually push my right hip back in the backswing, you'll notice that this dot here now has got further away from that ball. Okay, my pelvis hasn't moved up into the ball at all. From here then what would happen is my pelvis then moves slightly to the left while still turned. And then what I'm gonna do here is I'm then gonna push my left hip back and my right hip will come forward a fraction, but and then I can pivot up into the follow through. But from that action, this dot here is always moving further away from the ball. So you want it to always be pushing away. And that's the feeling we want to create. So right hip back, move up into the ball, left hip back to meet the right hip, and then that pivots up and around. But this dot is continuously moving away from the ball. This is where you're going to feel ground pressures. You're going to feel pressures moving into your heels. Uh, whereas we see some golfers, what they'll do is because they're moving up here, they're always moving onto their toes and the toes are having to grab, and then they're gonna lose balance, and this is when you hit you know, nasty shots. You can hit you know, it's what we call early extension. So it's really important. So we like to work on the hips working back this way. So right hip back, up into the ball, left hip back. So it's always pushing away. And this transaction actually happens. This is, uh, that's going back, but this movement to the left is actually happening as the club head's still going back. And then I'm gonna, from here, I can then push forward and through. And that's really how the pros do it. If you watch them on, you know, on gears or anything like that, that's how you'll see them and their hips are moving. They're always pushing away from the ball. They're never moving up and into it. Okay, so I hope that really helps you understand what the task is here. So the hips really are working in straight lines. I've done videos on this before and I'll drop links below if you want me to, to, to highlight what that is. But 
how the hips work is really important, but the whole goal, the whole aim is, it's not to be moving the middle of that pelvis up closer to the ball. As soon as it gets closer to the ball, I'm having to reroute things in the swing. So we see what we call early extension. We see golfers, as soon as they move up here, they're having to, they might drop the club behind them or they might be coming down steep and then they're having to move up and in to try and then change in the path to try and hit the ball and slice across it. Ideally, we want everything to be pushing away. If I'm pushing my pelvis away, I'm going to uh, feel what we this uh, feel the momentum swinging away from me. I'm going to feel the arc get wider and my arms swing away from me, and I'm pushing everything away. This is this motion here of me pushing backwards is going to accelerate the golf club, but also it's going to help me to make the clubs complete its circular motion around my body as well. But remember what we said: the golf swing, the, the hips work in straight lines rather than thinking turn. Because when I used to think about turn, I used to stall something. So I'd either stall my right hip or my left hip. And when I think about turning my hips through, like my left hip, I never used to do that, actually, um, unknowingly. Okay, and that's, that's the key thing here. I used to thought I was doing it right. But when I was trying to say turn my left hips through, I've always thought I need to turn my hips through more. What I was tending to do here was, instead of pushing the left hip back, I was probably stalling that one and bringing my right hip forward. So I was probably stalling this one and, and pulling that one around, thinking this was going to open me up to the target. Of course, this is pushing me up into the ball and, and, and getting me closer to it. Now, you'll have a certain, some golfers will have hand-eye coordination that can control that. But as soon as I learn, actually, no, the left hip needs to go, uh, so the right hip goes back, move up into my left side, and then the left hip goes back. As soon as I learned to push my left hip backwards through Mike and his training, I actually could open my hips up quite a bit through impact and it was easy, less stressful on my back as well, might I add, okay? And that's really important. So for me, when I'm doing this, this whole video is all about you having an understanding of what the hips should be doing. And there's various methods as well of trying to fix this. You can use chairs behind you, golf bags behind you. Um, I do right foot back, I do left foot back. We do one called step away drill. So you, you're stepping back constantly, hitting golf balls. and there's loads of different things you can do and I won't do that on this video. The whole point is, is you're having the right task of what the hip does. So the right hip goes back, moves up to the left hand side, still turned, or I'm moving up to my left hand side, and then my left leg is pushing my left hip back, but my pelvis is constantly staying away from the ball. I'm never moving up into the ball. I'm still prone to doing that myself. It's something that I'm working on. Um, so it's something that is continuously uh, a, a progress or a progressional movement. It's something that uh, I really struggled with because for years I did it wrong. I was doing the turning motion thinking that was right. So I like to think right hip back, left hip back is what I think now. Uh, and I try and do that in a golf swing. So right hip back, left hip back. And I feel like I'm staying in. Now there will be a point on the follow through when you will probably move up closer to the ball because your right hip, right foot releases. That's fine. But really through impact, I'm trying to feel that I'm pushing everything away and I feel further away. So it's just a practice thing, that's all. So right hip back, left hip back. Right hip back, left hip back. And I feel like I'm pushing away from the ball. That's what I feel, that, that's, that's for me anyway. Whether it translates for you, only you'll be able to know that and practice that. But I feel like I'm pushing my hips backwards, so straight lines. And it looks like I'm turning, but for me, it feels different. It's just the task that I'm setting. So right hip back, left hip back. And I feel like I'm pushing away from the ball. I can feel the club head did swoosh right through the ball as I swing through it. Anyway, I hope that video helps you. And I hope the one pre, you know, in, the, in this uh, clip as well helps you as well. Thank you for watching. Please remember to hit the like and the subscribe button and also that notification button when I'm releasing my next one. Anyway, hope that helps your golf and I'll catch you next week.